So guys, brand new video, part 19. Thank you for tuning in. And of course, we are still busy with the Amazon. I haven't done very much in the past week because I was working on a car I got for free a couple uh, yeah, weeks back. And I was trying to sell that thing because I just wanted to give it another life and the complete underside was just destroyed. So I had some other welding jobs, didn't film those. And now we're back on the Amazon. Thank you for tuning in, let's go. So I've just pulled the car forward. This is actually how she has been standing here for, yeah, I think one and a half week. In the last video, you have seen me working on that lower piece over there. And as you can see, this thing is just a total mess inside. So we are gonna start by cleaning this thing off because I wanna get the fuel tank out of there, get the fenders off, get the hood, off, well, get the trunk off the roof. And then we can finally start tackling this thing again. Look at this, the car is completely empty. We have all the old insulation over there. But yeah, I am actually gonna use the best tool in the world for, yeah, taking stuff off the bottom of your car. So, always those air compressors. Every single time I hit record, the air compressor starts playing. Every time. Let's get to work. So guys, as you can see, this looks amazing. We have fully oh, got out all that yeah, nasty stuff. So if I turn on my light, it's, it's, it's really dark in here. We need a sunroof. Over here, we have that huge piece of yeah, floorboard where the insulation was. And if I turn over, over here you have the piece which I've already welded. So what you have in this car, as you, you can see, this is a edge. So that's an edge of metal which is actually pressed up as you can see. I am welding those because these are just marks mostly of maybe um, a Sort, sort of setup where these panels have been laying or how the car was actually moved on the assembly line There can be many reasons for these But Volvo decided to just stick a bunch of gum on there So that's how they fix those spots. So I'm actually just grinding them out Because you can't smack this flat because this piece is actually slightly bigger than yeah, the the, the piece where it needs to go in. So I need to smack them up from the below, then I can grind a little edge of them off, and then I can smack them back so it's flush, weld them shut, and then this is done. So that's something I really wanna do today because I, yeah, kinda hate doing these jobs, but you need to do something. And I rather do this than go on and glue all these things shut again. Because, yeah, that's not something I want to do to a car which is being restored this nicely. Yeah, it is the extra mile, it is doing work, you rather don't, but yeah, we have to do something.
So guys, it's another weekend later and we're still working on the Volvo Amazon interior. <coughs> but yeah, it's a very, very, very slow job and it's not a very fun job. But I want to talk you through some things. We have the interior of the car and as you can see, I have done a bit of work, pretty much. <laughs> I have been very busy with just cleaning out the whole interior of this car so as you can see that's all bare metal this is all bare metal i even went the extra mile and cleaned out all those spot welds just to see where is the rust where might we have rust uh, where do we have rust and go on the whole uh, shebang but yeah we have um some some problems so just to get in there um this side had a huge leak when I got the car. So I got this car in April 2021, if I'm correct. And I actually started driving it, I think, in uh, May or July when the engine was actually um, yeah, fixed because the camshaft bearings were just totally gone. But this thing had uh, the problem of... Yeah, not having a huge chunk of metal over there. And there was a hole in the top over there and down there. And I just found a hole over there. The thing I also did was I used this stuff, which I showed you earlier, the Noiko. So this is actually just some kind of rubbery stuff with the foam on top. You first take the rubber stuff on there. You can see that over here. This is the rubber stuff you stick on there, and then you stick uh, you stuck um, the foam part on top of that. But yeah, that looks great, and it does a bit of work of, of, of its job. Yeah, it does something for the noise and the heat and the sound and the dampening of the car. So I drove this car 14,000 kilometers. And in those 40,000 kilometers, I have done a road trip to Norway, which some of you might know because I posted some of those pictures on Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, just search for Rolling Heritage and you will find me with a picture of the Amazon as a profile picture. But yeah, th those 14,000 kilometers were driven in half a year. And in a classic car, in a car that's 53 years old and not restored, it's yeah, pretty much. So the problem I had, uh, when we were in Norway, this car was just totally flooded with water. The bad thing about that is when you have carpet on here and also the sound deadening, you have these cavities and you can get that sound deadening in here if you just warm the sound deadening up with a uh, yeah, just a hair dryer or something, a paint stripper or, or anything like that. No flames, but just just some, some, some heat. And then you can heat it up and just press it nicely in here. But when I was installing that stuff, it didn't, yeah, I didn't do that. So the problem I had was it was sticking on the flat surfaces, but not really sticking inside here. So this was just, just a hollow room. So there was a hollow room below there and water was standing in here. So I'm going to smack all these down right now. And then also on this side, but here is where the problem is. As you can see there's one hole, but it's very, 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 yeah, attacked by rust. Look at this guys, brand new floor. Well, it looks like that. It looks pretty decent. So the back panel over here is actually looking pretty nice. There are no no rust spots at all. Corners all look look very nice. They need to do a little bit more cleaning, but I only have a round sander, so I can't really get into the corners over there. But that is also something I'm working on, really investing in my tools. But this looks amazing. So now we need to close off all these things we have already closed off on the other side. Um, these are a bit mangled up. So we need to see what we can do. Over there we have the floor. <coughs> and the first thing we are gonna do is actually fix up this nice little hole over there.
So guys, next day, look at this. Everything is cleared up. I have all that, yeah, undercoating. No, not undercoating, sound deadening, I mean. Uh, off of here, looks pretty good. I also start cleaning all the seam sealer off of there. We had a bit of rust in that corner, but just surface rust. Um, of course, they are about the same corners as A240 has. And on those cars, they also run away because there is no kind of drain here. So if water gets in that corner from the rear window, from the side windows, it will all just collect up there. I have some better lighting right now. Just threw my lighting thing onto there. Um, the thing I did find out is we also have those weird thingies over there. But we can't really smack those uh, upwards. So I'm going to try to just uh, get something underneath so that we can get them up and then smack them down when we have grinded out a little bit of, this, of the edge so that it's flat and then we can weld it. So it will look about yeah like that. Nice and flush. So that side is welded, that side is welded, this side is welded and where I'm sitting is welded. Um, so we are actually making some great progress. Over there we have a clean side. I have some welds need to clean over there. I have a yeah nasty side over here. So I'm gonna get this off. I'm gonna clear all that stuff up and I'm gonna take all the stuff away from the, yeah, how you call it. I know in England, on the Aston Martins I work on, they call it the parcel shelf. And I kind of like that. So that's the parcel shelf. So guys, um, it's the next day and I have bad news. Um, yesterday I was doing some other work uh, in my shop here and I got a bit sick. I got a huge headache and with huge I mean I've never had a headache like that before in my entire life. Um, I called my dad, he came over to here. I called my uh, doctor, he said that, well she said that it should be some kind of migraine. I have never experienced that in my life. So that was not very nice. Um, I don't want that anytime soon again. So I'm gonna, just gonna end this video here. So over here we have that car. Um, yeah, this is where we have left off. The car is pretty much done floor wise. We do need to weld those spots I did send uh, all the back sides of there looks pretty decent um, it's all just yeah just paint it's it's not much rust or anything it's just it's mostly paint and when the paint is off we can then prep it and hopefully get this thing ready for for primer ASAP when the whole inside of the car is done the engine bay is done the door sills is done we can then um, attack the roof again because we still need to attack all those little weird rust spots i have and when that's done we can then prime this beauty but uh thank you guys for watching i will see you guys next time please subscribe like and share this share these videos because if these videos will be shared then hopefully these videos will be watched more and then we can build even more and better projects thank you guys i will see you guys next time and uh yeah for now this was it bye bye